Using the three rules of perspective or orthogonal lines, number one, all orthogonal lines go to the vanishing point. Number two, orthogonal lines do not go over objects. And three, they start at all points and curves, and when they meet an object, they stop. An example of these three rules in action. For this particular uh, demonstration, we do not need the horizon line, just objects. So we're going to start with our vanishing point, and then we're going to put objects anywhere in this space. We're going to put objects with curves. We can do letters. We can do two-point or two-dimensional objects. We can do big objects. We can do small objects, any objects, and we can do them in a way that actually makes sense when we have to apply the three rules. Number one, all orthogonal lines go to the vanishing point. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to line up our ruler on the vanishing point. Spinning our ruler on the vanishing point the points we're talking about is where two lines intersect each other. So we're going to start with this one going from this point to this point. And notice that I'm measuring every single time to make sure that it actually goes to the vanishing point. Because when I spin it, it's very easy to take your finger off of it and it's not on the vanishing point again. And we go to every point across our object spinning it on our vanishing point. Now, curves. We go from every point and every curve. Circles are very easy. You go from the front curve and the back curve, making sure that our ruler is on the vanishing point. Lining it up, we go from this curve towards the vanishing point, and when we hit a line or an object, it stops. It does not go over the object, it does not go through the object and continue to the other side. Putting our, our ruler back on the vanishing point, we continue around the paper going to the next, the next point. Since this point actually starts inside of an object, we don't draw this point at all. Since these two points actually go here, we actually line it up to this point and draw this line from here to here and we continue around the paper. As you, say, as you can see when I'm finished, 
it creates a three-dimensional effect on the page that makes it look like all of the objects are coming from the vanishing point. Now I put X's up here to remind us that we do not draw over objects. We do not draw over objects even though there is a point there. When a point, when the orthogonal line starts from a point and hits an object again, that means we do not go through it because these object, uh, objects appear to be behind this one. So when you have an object behind it, visually, you do not draw through it. Now again, I have made mistakes and missed some lines. So you go back through, line them up, and draw those lines to the vanishing point. 